Hi, Will Robertson here. I'm standing next to Debbie. Debbie, what are you doing here today? Well, I'm the CEO of the Chamber and uh, planned this event with one of my member volunteers, uh, Jim Olmstead, and we're hot as can be out here, but uh, happy with the turnout. Hi, Will Robertson here with Pete Condi. Pete, what's going on here? Well, Will, today we've got an event in Laguna Niguel, the La Paz Center here. Uh, Chamber of Commerce for the city of Laguna Niguel is hosting it, and they contacted us a few days ago and said we'd love to have the fire engine out for a display. You know, the kids always like the fire engines, they like to climb around it. Also gives us an opportunity to talk to the public about some fire prevention, fire education, things like that. So, so Pete, before I leave, uh, just one last thing. Is there any chance I can get on this truck and play around? No. Sorry. <laughs> kids only. Really? Yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> Everybody wonders how Dan keeps so clean. He visits us at European Wax Center. Hi, we're here at the Unknown Booth. There's no sign, so we don't know what's going on. Maybe these folks can tell us. Uh, we're the Laguna Niguel Auto Center. I think they said Laguna Niguel Auto Center. Hi, Will Robertson here, standing next to the lovely Seema. Seema, what's going on today? Well, we're at the Laguna de Gal Community Fair. Stacy, Trelog, and Saunders and I are part of Prudential California Realty. So we're hoping to spread the good words about it. it's a great market to buy or sell today to everyone in Laguna de Gal. I want to notice that this woman on the picture in the background, if you can catch that real quick, that's uh, when she turned 18, and she still looks like that. Am I right? If you were going to be here another 30 minutes, you would have met her. She went to get us some smoothies. We're dying here. It is a hot day. <laughs> uh, smoothies? Did you say smoothies? Yeah, she went to get some smoothies. Yeah, no smoothies for us? Aww. We okay. should have been here 10 minutes ago. Cut, cut. We're out of here. <laughs> Hi, I'm standing here with Deputy Freeze, and he's with the Orange County Sheriff's Department. What's happening here today? Uh, there's just a little community fair out here this afternoon. We've got the city of Laguna Niguel uh, offering some of their uh, services, police services, and the Sheriff's Department's out here giving out uh, kids a chance to sit on the motorcycle and uh, ask any questions that they may have of the Sheriff's Department and hiring practices. Or, all right. Well, good news. I'm glad to hear it. And thank you so much for the wonderful work you do. We are here with Craig today. We can do a little trash talk. Hi, how you doing? I'm from CRNR. We're the people who pick up your trash in the city of Laguna Niguel here. standing here with none, none other than Mr. Stewart, and he has got some kind of a politician here. I don't know what this is. What are you holding there? Uh, this is a California king snake. It's a native species of California. You will see this in the area. It's non-venomous, uh, but these guys are your best friend because they like to eat rattlesnakes. So this is something you want in your backyard. So if I see one of these in the backyard, leave it alone? Correct. And they're, they're easy to identify they're with the stripes. Now, tell me a little bit about what you're doing here. You've got rattlesnakes here, we've got some displays, and there's some information that I think is quite interesting. Uh, yeah, we have some native species. All these snakes you'll find in this city, in this county. Uh, we have a couple species of rattlesnake. And um, for those who own dogs, there's actually a vaccine available uh, through your vet um, to kind of act like a flu shot. It will minimize the effects of a rattlesnake bite to your dog. Hi, Will Robertson here standing next to Rachel. Rachel, what are you doing here today? Um, I'm a veterinarian and I'm representing my hospital, Lisa Nagel Animal Hospital. And this is a beautiful setup you've got here and this is all for the community, I assume? Yes, it is. We're hoping to get uh, our hospital out there and also make sure everybody's aware of what their pets need, especially in this hot weather. 
Speaking of weather and what pets need, now we've heard a little bit about this anti-snake venom. Can you comment on that? Yes, there is a uh, rattlesnake vaccine that has been uh, produced that we are a big component of or proponent of. The uh, animal shelter locally and the emergency room have seen success with a vaccine that dogs that are bitten um, by a rattlesnake still need veterinary care, but the um, intensive care that they need and the potential cost for them and the time to get to the hospital has been decreased. So we've had some pretty good luck with the vaccine. So I hear you saying you approve of it. Absolutely. Okay, well, thank you so much for being thank such you. an important part of this event, and we'll see you again next year. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Hi, I'm from Elisa Miguel Animal Hospital. Hi, Will Robertson here with Gina, and what is this organization that you represent today? It's called Grace Classical Academy, and we are a K-7 through seven, uh, private classical and Christian school. I'm standing next to Joey. Joey, tell us what you're doing here and what's going on. Uh, yeah, um, we're part of the Lee Senegal High School Marching Band, and our band has no money really right now, and we actually just lost two fundraisers. So we're doing a thing called Cow Chip Bingo, and basically we have a giant field and a bunch of bingo squares, and we have a cow go around in it goes to the bathroom on the squares and if you pay five dollars for a ticket you can uh, win like five hundred dollars for it and all the money goes to our band program now this has got to be the most creative thing i've ever heard of and i grew up on a farm so that's saying something and next we're going to hear from kayla kayla what's going on we're selling couch bingo tickets because this year we'd like to raise over ten thousand dollars because last year we raised almost eight thousand uh, we need to make up for around $15,000 in fundraising loss that we've had this year so far. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it right from the source. It's all about cow droppings. It's the luck of the drop. Get out here and support these kids. They deserve it. You're fine. Do I do And we are very proud to be members of the Laguna Niguel Chamber of Commerce that invited us down here, and that's awesome. Hey! Hi! Hi.